properties. In this video, I'm going to explain about how to generate the license and uh, how to onboard the VH devices. First, we need to log into the Cisco software portal, software.cisco.com. And uh, once you log in, you will see the screen and uh, click on uh, manage smart account. And once you open, create virtual accounts. Uh, click new virtual account and give the name, click private and then save. Then come back to the main page and uh, click on plug and play connect and uh, select the virtual account which we have created and then click add profile. Now you can see uh, this is the uh, profile I'm creating for my vbond and you can give any name here and um, mandatory thing is profile name organization name that we have created and uh, the vbond IP address and we have to browse and um, give your uh, root certificate that we have generated so I have uh, downloaded that root certificate you can see the message the certificate should match either the IP or the host name specified in the controller otherwise uh, the SSL connectivity will fail so this is just a review of your host name the vbond and IP and other thing now once you click done your uh, profile is created now we have to go devices and um, click add software devices so here uh, we have to give the base PID as uh, vh-cloud-dna this is the uh, PID name that we have to give for your VH cloud uh, uh, I mean what we are going to use in the lab and I've given quantity for seven numbers and the controller profile that we created uh, just before so you can see I have got like uh, seven serial number which I'm going to use in my lab and uh, click on controller profile you can see the controller profile with the seven devices and I have to download this file click provision file and you have to give the controller version uh, 18.3 and newer we are using 19.2.2 so we have to select this option and select this option and click download and uh, save that uh, serial webtila file in your laptop so now uh, we have generated the serial file you can see the van edge is still zero we have to download those uh, webtila serial files into your vmanage go to configuration devices you can see the van edge list is empty you have to upload that serial file here uh, click on upload van edge list I have saved in my laptop this is the file serial file dot webtila and uh, click this validate the uploaded v edge list and see and send it to the controllers upload okay so you can see the number of uh, VH uploaded successfully 7 and you can see um, since we have selected validate and then push it to the other controllers uh, whatever the serial file that we uh, downloaded it got pushed to your vman vbond and also to the vsmod now let's go to devices you can see uh, these are the list of uh, the VH uh, cloud uh, serial number that we are going to use in our lab. I am inside the uh, VH CLI. This video demo is for the uh, onboarding the VH uh, using CLI manually. Now you can see I have already configured the interface for VPN 0 with IP address 3031.2 and uh, configured tunnel interface. I am allowing all the services since it's a lab environment and I am also allowing the service netconfig and we have to give a default route uh, pointing to my gateway 3031.1 you can see that in the lab topology this is my VH1 I've configured VPN 0 and uh, I've given this IP and a default route towards my internet router I will also configure the VPN 10 that is your service VPN with IP 192.168.10.1.1 so I have done the interface configurations for VPN 0 VPN 10 that is my service VPN and I given no shut and also for my VPN uh, 512 which is my management VPN so show interface pipe tab you can see I have 
now the service vpn also added and uh, we have to verify the ip reachability first uh, ping 30.30.1.1 my gateway i can reach it and uh, you can see in our uh, lab uh, our the v bond ip address is 2020.1.1 we should be able to ping from our uh, v edge okay i can ping my v bond Two is my V manage IP. Three is my V smart IP. So we, the V edge should be reachable to all the controllers uh, so that it can get onboarded. So interface configuration is over. Now we have to configure the system level configuration, which is important. Show run system. This is the default uh, interface. Uh, sorry, the system configuration that comes up with the vbond zp.webpilot.com. So that we have to change now. Going to system. Our first thing is the system IP, which is unique to this uh, VH. I'm going to give 10.10.10.1. .10 then the site ID. Site ID, I have to give a different here, other than the control, whatever given. I'm going to give 11. Then uh, important thing is the organization name. We have to give the same name here. Then the clock. So these are the system level uh, configuration and uh, we have to give the vbond IP also, one moment. vbond is 20.20.1.1. .20 so the system IP, site ID, organization name, then the vbond IP. These are the minimum required configuration to onboard your uh, VH. Verify that. So you can see the system IP, the site ID, then the vbond IP, the organization name, and we have given uh, the interface configuration already given and uh, the OMP configuration will be there by default uh, by default uh, it will advertise the static and connected and um, internal OSPF routes into your uh, you know controllers so now we have to um, install uh, the root certificate like how we did in our uh, controllers so you can see right now the root certificate is not here so I'm gonna go into my XCA software this is my click on certificate this is my root certificate I'm gonna click export my root certificate clipboard cat run XCA dot CRT paste the key so now you can see my root CA here and I'm going to install that. Smart is the same. Okay, so now my root certificate is installed. Now we have to go back to our uh, vManage in the van edge list. You can see um, we have to copy with this chassis number and uh, we have to put the token number uh, so that it will come on boarded now we have done all the configuration but uh, still it's not um, on boarded i'm going to just check the tcp dump uh, traffic going on gigi zero size one that is my vpn interface uh, you can see uh, my vh1 is trying to communicate with uh, the v bond the v bond is responding with the icmp echo replies but still uh, the, it is not yet onboarded yet. We can confirm that. Show control connections, nothing is there. Show control local properties, you can see the certificate state is not yet installed. So actually now we have to uh, get that uh, the serial number and the token number from here. So I'm going to select the first one. So the first one, uh, in the right side, you can see there are three dots. Click that. There's an option generate bootstrap configuration and select a cloud init. Basically it gives you a, a unique user ID and uh, the OTP. So this we have to copy and paste and uh, you know activate that uh, VH. 
the command is uh, request request the edge cloud activate chassis we have to copy the ch chassis number here and then the token token is nothing but this PT OTP so now uh, this chases number is something we are taken from the vManage it will get authenticated now we can see that in the vManage so once it comes up we can see the state change here so now after we are given this command request vcloud activate chassis number and the token number we can see um, the state change here you know the certificate is activated and you can see instead of a token number a serial number now if we go under uh, devices sorry certificates uh, you can see here also the vh name the system ip all those information has been fetched here now if you go to the main dashboard it is showing us down here I will see that yeah now it got uh, refreshed I can see the VH count one and also you can see the app arrow and uh, you can see the total uh, the VH uh, inventory is seven and I have deployed one now now we can verify the control connections from the VH CLI show control connections you can see the control connection with the vsmod and we manage and uh, second command to verify is show control local properties you can see the certificate status is uh, valid and installed so that's it so this is the procedure uh, how to onboard uh, your V edge uh, into the V manage, uh, you know, using the CLI. Thank you. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to onboard uh, using a device template, and we will use the second uh, serial number in the list.